And thank you for joining us. I'm Greg Glover. And I'm Michelle Heron in for Latrice Curry. New tonight, a man is appealing his death row conviction just one month before he's set to die. Leroy Hall Jr. was convicted in 1991 for the murder of Tracy Crozet in Hamilton County. Channel 3's Hunter Hoagland was in court this morning. He joins us in the studio. Hunter. Well, Greg, this is Leroy Hall. He murdered his ex-girlfriend by dousing her in gasoline and setting her on fire. A juror has now come forward 28 years later, telling attorneys she was biased when she convicted him of murder, which could put the brakes on this execution. The pain is now decades old, but hurts now more than ever. I busted her window out, took the keys, doused her with gasoline, and then throwed them on the top cocktail on her that he had made up the road. Stacy Wooten's sister Tracy was rescued from the burning car, but later died. A neighbor up the street got her out and rolled her, put her out, but her skin was falling off. And she went to the hospital. Tracy's killer is set to be executed December 5th this year, but after 28 years, a juror in the case came forward just weeks before he's set to die, telling attorneys she was a victim of domestic violence at the time, which led to a biased conviction. Leroy Hall's defense argued he didn't get a fair trial. So we've got those issues that are, are, are meeting head on. Judge Poole said in court they have to make sure everything is done right before somebody is put to death. But Tracy Wooten says after two decades, the time has come. I guess he just doesn't want to be executed now. But he executed her, and he, she, she had no choice of what he done. I asked her what, if anything, could bring her family peace. Him being executed. And me getting to sit there and watch him be executed because I had to watch my sister die. 